Hey guys, Spout here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it will be Lost Light, and I'm going to show you how to make lots and lots of money with your Marauders. Now, before I get into the video, make sure you have liked the video and you have subscribed to the channel. Make sure you do also jump on the Discord server for lots of handy tips and tricks, etc., from lots of players who are pretty good at the game who are also on there. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Uh Guys, I'll be back in a minute. Right, guys, let's make a start here on Marauders. Now, I want to go through a couple of things to start with, which is the purpose of a Marauder on the game itself. Now, a lot of people don't seem to understand what they should and shouldn't be doing. Of course, it is your own game. You can do what you want. But a lot of people believe that Marauders are there for PvP, and they're not. It's a it's a easy mistake to make. You know, they get decent gear, you go in, you kill people and stuff. But people are missing out on a lot of loot because they'll they'll go in with a marauder and the first thing they want to do is find another player and kill them. Now, the purpose of a marauder is to scavenge. Now, you'll see in the background footage, all these videos, what I'm doing is I'm running around and scavenging everything I can. Everything that's been left behind, sometimes there's closed boxes still with pretty decent stuff in. And these four recordings, other than the one I died in of course, made us about two million in a short space of time. So we'll go through some of the tips and tricks that I use with Marauders to make you rich in the game in a short space of time. Right, guys, a lot of stuff to go through in this video. However, the first thing I want to talk about is refreshing your loadout. Now, as you know, you can go into your Marauder and you can click to refresh the, ro the loadouts. It costs you about, well, it does cost you, sorry, 50,000 cash. Now, I won't recommend this all the time. There's certain aspects of it where it doesn't really matter what gear you get. However, if you're going into factory and the Marauder gives you a snipe rifle, I would recommend refreshing it until you get something that isn't a snipe rifle, until you know how to turn that one single bullet into, you know, a full kitted out gun or a, a better gun in a short space of time, you know, without getting killed. Because let's face it, if you go into factory with a snipe rifle and you run into a decent geared player, you're dead. You run into a decent geared Marauder player, you're dead. But if you don't see anyone, it's usually quite handy just to pop another Marauder, NPC Marauder in the head, take their stuff instead. That's the only time I'll justify using a snipe rifle in factory. Right, so... One of the main dangers with your Marauder is other Marauder players and players. As you've just seen there, I've just knocked one. He took us by surprise. But there is ways to spot them. Now, there's a lot of players who will go on the Marauder and they'll pretend to be a bot. Now, these people are sly. <laughs> it is a you know, legitimate way to play. And it's very clever if you can pull it off. But there's certain ways you can spot them. Now, if you watch Marauders, they have a certain sort of way to move. They don't move their gun, you know, up and down. It's very straight, very robotic. They, they occasionally crouch up and down a couple of times. And the way the walk is a certain speed, the way the, the turn is a certain way. If you can mimic that, you're basically unkillable unless someone snipes you from a distance or plans to kill the Marauders anyway. So, the way to spot player marauders is if they're running around. Now, if they're running in a straight line, chances are they're chasing a player. could be an NPC. But generally, you'll find the player ones are doing exactly what the fireflies do, which is go around looting. They're waiting to kill people or they're camping somewhere. But I'll get to that in a separate bit. But yes, you can spot them if you're paying attention. Of course, as well, NPC marauders don't have an armband on, whereas the player ones do. But I'll be honest with you guys, by the time you realise a Marauder's got an armband on, you're probably close enough that they've probably already killed you. So I wouldn't rely on that as such. So next, I'm going to advise you 
on where to loot. Now, I'm not going to show you a map and say loot here, loot here, loot here, you know, stuff like that. However, if you know the maps to some extent, go to places you know stuff spawns. Like here, I'm looking through these crates and stuff because I know they'll spawn decent stuff. They'll have, there's a microscope, you see what I mean? Decent stuff in these things, which I know I can pick up and escape with quite easily with minimal effort. Now, there is obviously places you shouldn't go on your marauder, like, for instance, buried shelter or gas station and stuff, because you can't get into the rooms that you need keys for. And I would not rely on the possibility that another player has already opened the door for you and there's stuff left in it. I just wouldn't bother. There's other places you can go where you can find decent things and you don't need to, you know, look very hard. Now... When you should be leaving these matches is when your backpack's full. You can see here, me in the background here. I'm, I'm headed to the escape point right now. I don't see the point in waiting around. A lot of people will think, right, well, there might be a player running around with a bigger backpack than I've got. I might just stay on the map, see if I can get him. You're risking losing everything you've just found by doing this. Even if you spawn with a nine-slot bag and you fill it up, I would just escape. You've still got your gun, you've still got your... Your secondary gun that you've picked up off a random corpse or whatever or, or out of a weapon crate you're still going to make a profit so once you're full just leave if you find stuff on the way that's more expensive than what you're carrying drop pick up you know what i mean all of that sort of thing fair enough but once you're done just get out of there now when you do escape there's certain items you know which will be quite good to sell on the auction house for instance, signal jammers, flash drives, intelligence, the microscope you just seen me pick up, stuff like that, which if you've escaped with them, you can sell them. The weapon, the armor and stuff like that you're already wearing, I usually just sell them straight to quick sell. I don't tend to keep several armor sets in my warehouse. I like to make sure there's plenty of space so when I do do a run, I can just quick transfer everything from your order and pretty much sell everything. Anything I can sell on the black market that will sell quickly, I will list. If it doesn't sell quickly and I still get a decent amount of stuff from it for selling it to the vendor, I'll just send it to the vendor. Now, I've covered when to leave, where to loot, what the hell do you pick up? Right, so, you start with a gun. It could be an SA like that one was, it could be a PP-19, could be a Mosin, you know, it could be a, a, a anything, a KC, a whatever. Now, unless you start with a PP-19 or something crap, I would just keep the gun you've got, but make sure you find at least another dead marauder or a weapon crate and pick up at least one more gun. Because the one more gun... Even if it's not fully cared, it could be really, you know, expensive, like an M4 or something like that. You're going to want to sell it because at least you could make 90000 You know, you want something else just to top up that balance. And you've always got an extra slot in your Marauder. You don't start with a secondary weapon other than your pistol. Obviously, that doesn't really count. You never start with secondary, so you've always got that extra area to pick up another gun. I would also recommend if you do have a crap gun, which doesn't sell very much, and you find something better, drop it and pick up the better one. What you want to focus on is how much money you can make in one run. Above all, forget killing people. I know I've just killed someone there, but he was like, you know, he spawned near us. Oh, sorry, I spawned near him. It was an opportunity. I took it. Dog tags don't sell very much, so why chase them? Yes, you can find one with a bizarre name and sell it on the auction house, but the amount of time it takes to do that, what's the freaking point? So, guys... I'm going to go through another couple of strategies you can do. Some of these are a bit questionable, but I have done them in the past. And that is, if you spawn on Marauder with a grenade, you can go and camp an extraction point. Or if it's got a decent gun, you can do this just the same with a gun. Um, I don't condone it because it's sly, but it is, in a way, part of the game. You can do it if you want. It's entirely up to you. I've done it. I mainly do it on Windswept Harbour, but I only do it on my Marauders. I don't do it on my Fireflies because nine times out of ten, I can find better stuff on my Fireflies. I can take keys, you know what I mean? I don't need a camp. But it is a legitimate strategy if you want to do that. You can also, you know, just 
run around like a, like an idiot shooting players. But nine times out of ten, you know, especially on factory or something, there's not going to be very many people running around anymore. Mount Akiyama, you'll have to run pretty much straight across the map, try and find people before they escape. Uh, Harbour, I wouldn't even freaking bother. But anyway. Now, last but not least, prioritising what you pick up. I will pick up anything that's one slot, which is 10,000 or higher, pardon me, or if I don't have a choice, I'll take lower than that and replace it as I go. But if you try and stick to really expensive items, not so much stuff you need or want, you should make a pretty decent profit. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope uh, all these tips help you make loads of money because I know quite a few of you uh, complaint was quite a lot, you know, I've, I'm running out of money, I've got no gear and stuff. Marauders, don't sell them short, use them as much as you can, they respawn. But remember, they're not for PvP, they're for scavenging. If you want to PvP with them, that's entirely up to you, but you're missing out on a lot. And you can do really quick runs like this one and get some substantial rewards from it, which you can then spend on your Firefly to then do your PvP. So guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already liked the video, please do now. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I hope you may consider clicking that. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.